Hello, welcome to another Mac Minute. This week I'm going to answer a viewer question or a question that came to me about a file couldn't be opened. And this is something, something that happens quite often, at least it happens quite often to me. So the Mac knows what programs to use to open a lot of files, but it's nowhere close to knowing all the files. So let me give you an example of how you get around that. I'm going to go into um, my documents, which I have this one document called untitled.rtf. And let's say I didn't, it didn't know how to open it. Now it does know how to open this, and is what RTF files are. But if I right click, it's gonna say open, which is the default. But if it doesn't say open, there's generally something that says open with. And here it says text edit's gonna be my default. So, okay, text edit's my default. It gives me these other ones that can probably read it as well. But in the case where it doesn't know anything about it, it's only gonna give you app store and other. So if you go to other, it's going to give you a list of programs. And if you know what program it is to open it up with, it's very simple. I know this one is text edit, so I'm gonna scroll down to it. And it's down here towards the bottom. Right there it is, text edit. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm going to say open. And it's gonna open this document with text edit. And it's just a blank document, nothing's in it. But so many times I get files that doesn't know what to open them with, and I just open them with text files. For example, I'll get uh, a program from somebody that has a weird extension on it, or um, maybe an XML document that gets stuff in it that it's not named that XML at the end, it's some other extension, but it has the data, and I know it's XML, so I can just right click on it and say open and text edit, and I see my XML data and text edit, or I can open it in Xcode, or whatever program I wanna go in and view it with, just by right clicking on it. And sometimes I don't wanna open it up, so let's say I get a uh, Objective-C program from somebody, if I would double click on that, it would open it up in Xcode. Well, if I'm just gonna look at it, I'd rather open it up in, in some other editor, so I don't have to go through the whole Xcode load and go through the whole process again. I just wanna pop it open real quick and take a look at it and then close it back down. So then at that point, I will right click and do open as and go into uh, text edit or some other editor that I have on here to open it up real quickly and then take a look at it. So that's how you can load uh, other programs for these files. It's actually uh, very simple and any file you can do this with. Let me go back actually to um, the application folder and see right here it says open only because it knows it's an application. So let's go back to somewhere, let's go back to pictures. So how many pictures here? Well, let me go into Blue Angels. So with the Blue Angels, these are pictures so I can say open with and look at that list. I can open them with Fireworks, Illustrator, Photoshop, ColorSync, Evernote, Firefox, Focus, Google Chrome, iSplash Editor, Mocha, Paint Me, Safari, Sketch Me, Sketch. I mean, all this stuff will open, including the preview, which is the default. So all these different options are open to me to um, open files with. So if you get a file you don't know how it is or you want to open something else, just right click on it and it will pop open a menu that you choose what you want to open it with. That's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.